Okay, Lisa, the, uh, at the end of Vienna. Here we go, here we go. Um, so, you're playing your E-flat 7 chord, when will you realize? And when you're doing that, you always want there to be more voices, so why don't you try playing a full D7? D, F sharp, A, C. So it's gonna be... Piano waits, so when will you realize? G with the fifth in the left hand. Now that's where it starts. Let me start with the left hand. So you're gonna go. So that's G D D sharp E. So it's fifth. Da 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 da. And then you hit an A octave. Boom. And then a single D. And then you resolve upward to your intro, which is how the song ends. So again, you have fifth on G. Now a single A octave. Realize D. Piano waits for you. Okay, so that's the left hand. Now the right hand, you start with that basic G, 5 3. And then you keep the top notes the same, but change to an E7 by lowering to an E and a G sharp in the middle voices. Now I have a four note E7. So I go. See how that goes. So when you hit the A octave, you play a, a suspended chord in your right hand. Sugar My Bowl uses these a lot. It's all white keys. It's gonna be G, B, D, E. It's a colorful version of an A7. And you go, it's called A7 sus. So you hit it like a punctuation. Then your right hand floats all the way up to an A octave. But in the middle voice, you take an E flat and you slip note it to an E like this. So I play the low A and then the top two with a slip note and then back to the low A. And then I shift, so I go, I do the A suspended chord. And then I quickly get down to these three notes, D, E, G. That's all part of the riff, so it's. Wait. It, maybe I added that extra A at the end. I think it just goes. And then that resolves to a three note D7, C, D, F sharp. So it's. So I'm a little slow on that. Let me try again. And then you're to your intro. So let's look how the hands go together. So you have G. We have one, two, triple, hit, E7. Now the A sus punctuation, the riff. Ah, that was crap. Seven with that single D bass in the left hand, and then you go to your intro. Okay, so let's see if we can get through that a little more cleanly. So it's one, two, triple the E7, A sus punctuation, riff. Piano is for you. Okay, so let's put it back in context. So, um, quite nail it, it needs more practice. One more time. When will you realize piano waits for you? And 
ending on just a fifth in the left hand and the B in the G natural. No, a, a triad in the left hand and the G in the right hand. That's it, friend. Have fun.